Hi. We have a situation here with this VF3YT50 where the machine generates an alarm 855 ATC arm drive tram failure during a tool change. Let's check it out. As you can see, the double arm is locked onto the tool holder in the carousel, causing the alarm to generate. The question is, where in the sequence did this alarm occur? Did it happen during the arm rotation, just as the arm grabbed the tool holder? Or was the arm trying to pull the tool holder from the pocket? Let's find out. Recover the tool changer and call up the pocket again. Okay, the alarm occurs when the arm was trying to pull the tool from the pocket. We have a stuck tool holder here. Let's try and manually remove the tool holder. Recover the tool changer and call up the pocket again. And as soon as the pocket comes down, put the machine in e-stop. Use a flat blade screwdriver to try and pry the tool holder from the pocket. If you are prying pretty hard and there's no movement, most likely the tool holder has the wrong pole stud. In this case, we need to remove the pocket from the carousel to get the tool holder out. We're gonna fix this in three steps. One, remove the pocket from the machine. Two, carefully remove the spring. And three, remove the tool holder from the pocket. And the tools we're gonna to use are a couple large flat blade screwdrivers, a set of Allen keys, a 14 millimeter box wrench, a medium sized vice grip, some long zip ties, and a pair of safety glasses. We'll be working on the carousel for a few minutes. So it's important to remove all the tools from the carousel and mark their location. Once all the tools are removed, the affected pocket must be in the tool change position. Put the machine in e-stop, turn off the incoming air to the machine, and purge the line. Remove the carousel number plate, but first remember the orientation. Mark this on the back if necessary. Disconnect the airline from the pocket up and down cylinder. This will allow you to move the pocket freely by hand. Remove the fasteners that secure the pocket to the carousel and put the pocket in the down position and then pull the pocket from the carousel. Now with the pocket and tool holder removed from the machine, we need to remove the spring and plungers to get the tool holder out of the pocket. The spring is under high tension, so use caution when removing it. Place the pocket in a vise and remove the pin. Now remember, wear a pair of safety glasses or a full face shield before removing the spring. Get a couple long zip ties and loop them through the spring loosely. This will prevent the spring from snapping back once you unhook it. Then use a large screwdriver and a vice grip to unhook the spring. Once the spring is separated, remove the plungers, then remove the tool holder from the pocket. So, as you can see, the wrong pole stud was installed on this tool holder. If there's an angle greater than 45 degrees on a pole stud, the plungers will not release the tool holder from the pocket. While we have the pocket somewhat disassembled, we'll take the opportunity to inspect the plungers and springs and replace them if necessary. Apply a little grease to the plungers and install them back in the pocket. Reinstall the spring back onto the pocket. Use two long screwdrivers to loop and hook the spring together. Once the spring is secure, cut the zip ties, reinstall the pin, and get ready to install the pocket back in the carousel. Install the pocket by aligning the cam to the fork on the cylinder, and then align the threaded hole to the cross hole on the pin in the carousel plate and the radius. 
Install the fasteners and ensure the pocket is secure and functioning correctly by actuating the pocket up and down manually. Reconnect the airline to the cylinder and test the pocket by commanding tool change. If all is well, install the number ring in the correct orientation and all the tools in their assigned pocket. For more information and Haas service videos, visit HaasCNC.com forward slash service and thanks for watching.